What's going on everybody? My name is Hexie and welcome back to another video. Now I know it's been quite a long time now, probably over 20 days since I've actually addressed you guys directly and talked directly to you guys, the fans. Now you guys might have noticed, a lot of you seem to have noticed, and I would expect you to if you're any kind of an active fan, that I haven't posted very frequently at all, if at all, in the past few weeks. And there's multiple reasons for that, one being that I was sick, you know, I'm starting to actually be healthy more often now because I'm eating more healthy and just going out and doing more things because I have school and stuff. But I do get sick more often, obviously, because I not only interact with customers who, who knows how many people are sick every day when I work, and then the people at school, you know, so I get sick more often during this time of year, at least in the last year of school. But I've been just really busy and I want to talk to you guys because I know it's been a really long time since I've addressed you guys and I've been trying to catch up on the comments but I just haven't had an actual real chance to sit down for like a good period of two to three hours because it takes me a lot of hours if I put off the comments for a day or two. It takes me a lot of hours to catch up on every comment and every single thing that happens everywhere. You know, I've been very active on my Twitter, so if you follow me on Twitter, you probably noticed that. I know a lot of you guys started following me on Twitter, and you guys have been more active over there with me, and I love that. You know, I love to interact with you guys there, and I absolutely love it. But I'm here right now because I want to talk about a few different things. I've made some videos. Well, I've kind of pre-rendered them. They're not really finished yet or finished editing, but I have them in mind. And I'm going to be sharing them with you guys probably the day after I upload this, or within a few days, or whatever, after this. Now, about that video that's going to be going up first, it's more of a comedy-based one, and in there, I don't have my actual microphone turned on, so you won't actually hear me talk, because I just didn't have it, I mean, I did have it turned on, but I didn't have it, like, actually enabled, and editing it in Sony Vegas after, I'm not going to go through the effort of transferring everything over to a different file type just to be able to put it in Vegas, so, I put it together in a way that I think you guys will still enjoy, despite not hearing me about all that video, and I want to share that video with you guys, because I want to share some comedy and my general gaming experiences with you guys. But other than that, I want to talk about where I've been, other than just being sick, being busy, and all that, and this and that. I've had a lot going on in my life, you know, obviously a breakup that hurt me pretty severely mentally, but I am always keep going, you know, I get back up and I keep going right at it, because at this point I realize that I am solo in life, and that I will keep kicking ass whether there's somebody here beside me or not. And in the end, I always have these fans, you guys, you know. A lot of you guys might leave me here and there over time, but... You know, there's a lot of you guys that are so loyal that'll stand by my side to do anything, and I love that, you know. There's not very many people I trust in the world these days, let alone people at all. So those of you that I do, I really appreciate it. But other than that, guys, the real reason, like the most prominent reason, I haven't really been uploading very often is because I just don't really feel uh, more of an effort to, and, and, and like a, uh, a yearning to upload. And I guess part of that might be because every time I upload now, I'm getting less support and more hate than support. Now again, the hate never affects me, nor will it ever stop me from uploading, it just, it just like, I don't know. It's not deterring me from uploading necessarily, I just, I don't feel the need to upload as often, if at all, because, hey, I'm like, hey, I might make a video, and then I'm like, hey, only half my fan base might see it, and half of them might leave dislikes, and, you know, I know 90% of those dislikes are dislike bots, you know, I've tested that theory, I've put unlisted videos on my channel and not even shared them, and they'll still get disliked over 20 times sometimes. That's how I know it's a bot, because if I don't share a video and it's unlisted on my channel, and it's not in any kind of a playlist, that's how you know a bot is disliking your videos, and you know, and leaving views. So, whoever's botting my channel, I applaud you for being that much of a hater, you're truly a fucking moron, and one of these days it's gonna come back on you, but... You know, it is neither here nor there. I do what I do, whether you like me or not, and I'm going to keep doing what's right because that's what I stand for. And there's a lot of things that I want to talk to you guys about that I'm not obviously going to remember and I'm going to keep going off topic because I can't keep these things in my head, but I try to keep them in my head. One of those things being Booster Busters. As you guys know, I haven't been on Booster Busters for a while because one, I haven't been active, and two, I just disagree a lot with the content that is going up there. I don't agree with Lost in Place's decisions. You know, I really don't. I mean, there's some people that go up there still that are relevant content, like Brett Burns, who I don't like currently because I've seen some things on Twitter where he was talking to modders, interacting with modders, and just generally being helpful to them, which is not what we're about. We're not here to promote modding, especially not a member of our own fucking team, you know. But he did that on Twitter, and I've seen it, and I shared it with our team. Obviously, Lost in Place either didn't see it or he didn't care, one of the two. But aside from that, whenever he did get uploaded, Brett Burns on Booster Busters, his video was actually relevant to the channel. I'm not saying I like him currently, but his video was actually there and made sense, you know, exposing a Black Ops 3 hacker. You know, so that's the kind of content I want to see on Booster Busters. Things that actually make sense, things that should be there, exposing the people and getting them out of the community, not promoting modding, like a lot of the videos that have been going up there recently. One of the reasons I didn't like Escape the Four's videos on Booster Busters was because they kind of promoted modding. In most cases, literally promoted modding. 
And a lot of the videos that have been going up on Booster Busters recently have been in promotion of modding. Not like directly, not blatantly, but very close to it. You know, they're not really saying, hey, you shouldn't be doing this. And they're not telling you, hey, why you shouldn't be doing this, you know? There's a multitude, a fucking multitude of reasons why you shouldn't be modding in public matches, you know? It's really not that hard to mod in a private match. If you want to mod, great, you know? If modding makes the game more fun for you and your friends, so be it. But just take it to private match. Don't go ruin everybody else's fucking fun, you know? And there's a whole lot of things, a whole lot of things that I plan on making in a video somewhat soon, maybe after this, in a few days, if I ever get around to it, you know, if I remember to. But I just want to talk, I want to address the Booster Buster community and then submit it to Booster Busters with my thoughts, my opinions directly to them, and a lot of the responses that I've been getting like, oh, this doesn't do that, or this doesn't do that, I'll get it very clearly said into a video how I feel and how things really are and share it with the community. And as, if Lost in Place decides he will upload it, great, you know, and hopefully the community will accept my opinion because I know a lot of the guys over there have left Booster Busters. A lot of you that are my fans, I've been talking to you guys. And you say you unsubscribe to Booster Busters because of how the content has been and how everybody's been getting uploaded up there. And I completely understand, you know, I don't want to watch the same content. Really, the only time I actually go to watch Booster Busters content anymore is whenever it's either myself, Sick Goat, or Keen TGZ, or another member of the team who actually uploads relevant content to our cause. That's about it. And the only time I come there, and when I do, I watch the video, leave a like, and that's about it. Because I can't comment, I don't have the time to, you know? I don't have the time to keep up on my own comments as it is, but I still am there to support my friends, because I'm like everybody else in the world, your friends are there to support you almost always. Unless they're a terrible friend, of course, and in that case, they're not your friend at all. Speaking of that, recently, Keemstar attacked Futuristica. Now let me tell you something, Keemstar did that, one, to cover his own ass, and two, because he really truly believes that Futuristic Hub did this life in a tent thing. Now can I tell you whether Futuristic Hub did or did not do that? No, I can't confirm that to you because I'm not him. No, only Futuristic Hub can do that. But I can tell you this. Futuristic Hub, despite our little scrabble about Gaming Hub, you know, a channel which is now dead thanks to Lost in Place's own choices and firing my team, but that is neither here nor there, anyway. Futuristic Hub is an excellent and amazing guy, you know, whenever he's not upset about something, he is truly a very helpful and caring guy, and he's been there for me the last week, couple weeks actually, while I've been going through this breakup and everything else, you know, and it's truly nice to have somebody to be able to come to and talk to, you know, like Futuristic Hub, somebody that I can actually somewhat confide in, you know, because there's, again, there's not very many people I trust in this world anymore, I trust my fans, at least some of them anyway, I can't trust all of you because I don't know all of you personally, but... To those of you I text with my phone, you know, some of you guys have my Google Voice. If you don't, go ahead and check that out or leave a comment. I'll leave you my number for my Google Voice and you can text me anytime you want. You can talk, hit me up, you know. And I interact with you guys and those of you guys that I interact with, like Runny Rain and stuff, very closely on a very personal level, I trust you guys. So keep that trust and don't break that trust, you know. There's just been a lot of things going on in my life recently that I've been so busy, you know, with all these thoughts in my head. Wanting to make videos, you know, having ideas for videos, but not really having the motivation or thought process to do so, you know. I haven't sat down and even tried to make a commentary in over a week, you know. I really haven't. And that last video that went up the Cards Against Humanity with Alyssa, that was entirely Alyssa's idea, you know. And I love doing it. I love being there with Alyssa again. It was fun. It was great to have her back for a video, you know. You guys ought to know at this point how I feel about her. And it's something that I can't change, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm just happy to have her done a video with her again. And my old friends like David, who is epic, you know, he's somebody that you guys probably haven't even heard of if you're a new fan or any kind of a fan that came months after this. But he was somebody I met basically when I started doing YouTube and this channel. And I met him when he used to auto to him. Nowadays, he doesn't do that. But him and I are very close friends, you know. We talk on a personal level all the time, so I can't express enough how amazing the support I get from you guys and my friends are. I love you guys. To those of you guys that not only like my videos, but comment on my videos, tell me about your day, you know, talk to me, share your opinions with me. I love it. You know, I really love to interact with you guys, and it really brightens my day to do it every single time. And I've had some fan art made recently and lots of other cool, cool things that I want to share with you guys. And as long as I remember to, to put it in this video, I'll put everything I can remember to put in this video. For example, 
one of my fans here. I'll put the picture on the screen. I don't remember his at right offhand because it's been a few days since I've looked at it, but he bought one of my shirts, one of my fan shirts, specifically one of the limited edition 3,000 subscriber shirts, which at some point will go off from being on sale, obviously, because it's limited edition. I just haven't got around to it yet. But he bought one of those, and he got it, and he took a picture of it and sent me to it. He says he loves it, and I love that. You know, I love to get messages like that. These messages you can see, I love it. You know, there's just, the fan support is amazing. And I can't express enough how amazing it is. And I tell you guys, just keep being awesome, you know? Keep being amazing people, because if either you're talking to me and brightening my day or brightening anybody else's day, you're doing something amazing. And that's something that you should be proud of, you know. Or you should be proud of anything that makes anybody else and you happy. As long as you're making somebody happy, whether it's yourself or somebody else, everybody, as long as it's not making you sad or somebody else sad, you should be really proud of that, you know. I love you guys. There's a lot more I want to talk about and a lot more will be coming soon. I hope you guys enjoy the new intro. I plan to keep it for quite a while as long as I have the ability mentally to keep up with all my changes and not want to change it, you know. Uh, I used to change my intro quite often, but this time I'm going to try to stick to this intro for quite a while. And I've also designed a new outro, if you haven't noticed in the last video, that I really, really like, you know, and it's all personally done by me, the intro and the outro, so you can't ever, ever say it's been copied because I designed it myself and literally edited that together myself, so. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know your feedback down in the comments. Again, I'd love to have a conversation with you guys, and I'll see you guys in another video coming soon. I'm going to try to catch up on the comments as well as the PMs on YouTube, but anything else I missed. Sometimes I miss your comments, guys, and I'm sorry about that. If I do, just, you know, bump the comments so I can find it, bump at me, you know, plus Hexian Gaming YT, or tweet at me. And again, I'm always active on Twitter. Anyway, that's my video for today, guys. I would appreciate it if you left a like, leave a comment again, and I will see you guys sometime soon. Hopefully within a few days. Hexium out. Love you all.